Good evening, everybody. It's Rhiannon, and I'm here to do the full Super Moon in Virgo readings. Um, I am doing them a little bit different this month. Instead of doing them by zodiac sign, I'm actually doing them by life path number. So this will be the reading for life path number eight, the powerhouse. If you're not sure what your life path number is, it's super easy to figure out. Just Google it. It'll give you the equation to do to figure out what you are. And then it'll give you some more information about it. Um, <clears throat> and then also, instead of just doing a general overall reading, we are focusing on shadow work and healing for the full moon. <clears throat> and so the decks I will be using for that are the Past Life Oracle, Carolyn Miss Archetype, Sacred Geometry Activations, the Akashic Tarot. And... This will probably be the last one I do tonight because I'm starting to get super worn out. Um, some of you guys may or may not know I'm actually working professionally on the psychic hotlines now. So I've done several readings today in addition to this will be the eighth life path number. So I am pretty tired, feeling a little bit um, ungrounded. So I need to do some grounding work and then I'll finish up everything else tomorrow. But let's just take a deep cleansing breath. Okay, I needed that. Okay, guys, number eight. What does number eight, life path number eight, what do they need to know? What should they be working on for their healing here in the full moon, full super moon of Virgo, February 19th, 2019? Oh, shoot. Child nature. <clears throat> so the first thing we'll focus on is the shadow attributes. And then once the healing comes, you'll be able to focus on the light. Um, the shadow attribute of this is the tendency to abuse animals, people, and the environment. That is not good at all. The detective shadow attribute, voyeurism, falsifying information. This is some pretty heavy stuff, number eight. Now, I don't want you guys to go into shame um, this is stuff that you've carried over from a past life. So this might not be something that's directly affecting you. Um, but it's something that is a blockage in your life. And so it's something that we can work on healing. And that's that's all this is. So this isn't to say that every number eight life path person is an animal abuser or a voyeur. But it means that you have had these things in your past lives and they're looking to be healed right now. Okay, so let's dig a little bit further. And so let's pull some Akashic Tarot for number eight. Again, life path number eight, the powerhouse. What do they need to know? What should they be focusing on healing in this past life energy and karma of being an animal abuser? And a voyeur. How can we help number eight heal this energy? Clear it from their karma. Clear it from their DNA. Number eight. <clears throat> Take a deep breath, number eight. I know it's uncomfortable. I know this is not what anybody would want to hear. Believe me. Life path number eight. Hilarion. Okay. So this is one of the Ascended Masters. So we're going to be looking to Hilarion to work with healing some of these energies. What else do we need to know? Life path number eight. What can be pulled from their Akashic records that can help us to understand this wound and this shadow a little bit more? We've got Uriel and the Phoenix, so that's one of the Archangels. So I'll also be working with Uriel, okay? So we've got Uriel and Hilarion that we're going to be working with as Ascended Masters, um, each respectively. So you're going to be calling on Uriel to help clear this um, animal abuse and earth environment abuse. Maybe you weren't an animal abuser, but maybe you're... Um, a business owner and you've been contributing to environmental um, things. 
Either way, these are the people that you're going to be calling on to help you with that. Now, let's dig a little bit deeper into your past life wounds. So, what lifetime was this? It was in biblical times. Biblical and we have persecution and inquisition as well as you were imprisoned or enslaved back in biblical times. So this is very much, you know, very old wounds that are here, which makes sense for something this dark. Um, it was, a, it was the dark ages, you know? So, um, if we're able to life path number eight, if we're able to heal these, if we're willing to do the work, if we're willing to dig in deep, calling upon Uriel and Hilarion to help us clear these. Instead of having these shadow attributes, what we can have is we can have friendship with animals and communication with nature and spirits. And we can have great powers of observation and intuition and the desire to seek out truth. And that's what you're here to learn in this lifetime. So don't let the shadow aspect scare you, but you have had a past life where you were um, a slave or you were imprisoned and it was, um, you know, per persecution and inquisition. So you were probably a light worker. Even G Jesus himself was sacrificed in this energy. So you could have been one of his um, people that he was helping. And so don't feel bad. Don't feel shame. Let's just clear it. If you're able to clear it, then nobody else in your DNA or your lineage will have to work with this. So let's now finally pull a healing sacred geometry card for life path number eight. We have delight. The frequency of delight supports our capacity to create and experience feelings of intense joy and happiness. The more delight we feel, the more delight we evoke in others. So this is not a time to feel shame. It's a time to feel happiness that we're dealing with these things and we're going to clear them. And once they're cleared, they don't ever have to come back again. And those are lessons that you don't have to work on ever again. So the thing to know about <clears throat> the Ascended Masters is you have to exhibit your free will. You have to call upon them either out loud and verbally or with your mind and just say, I call upon Uriel and, and uh, Hilarion to help me to release any karmic ties to this lifetime where there was abuse to animals or the environment and where I found myself as a voyeur or falsifying information. I cancel, clear, and transmute this energy. Um, you know, anything like that, whatever feels comfortable to you. I can help you to create a custom prayer. If that's something that you need help with, I can do that. I've done that for others before. You can contact me through my Rhiannon Rambles, uh, Facebook page or Rhiannon Rambles underscore Oracle, uh, Oracle obsessed on Instagram. And, um, I can help you do that. You can also look to do some Akashic record meditation healings. There's plenty of them on YouTube. Um, but this full moon and every full moon is a great and powerful time to work on the shadow um, side. So again, it's not to make you feel embarrassed or shameful or bad. Every single one of us has brought past life karmas into this life. And this is yours and you've been through a lot and you're a powerful person. Number eights are the powerhouse. So of course, your wounds are going to be deep. The more powerful you are is because you can handle those things. It's because mm -hmm. you've been through a lot in your past lifetimes. So I hope this resonates with you guys. Let me know how you guys like this style of reading. If you like the life path number, leave me a comment. Give me a thumbs up, a subscribe. Um, every little thing that you guys do, including just watching these videos, helps me grow my channel. And I would just wish you guys full moon blessings and we'll talk to you guys next time. Bye-bye.